Hi everyone and in this video I'm going to be talking about how I've managed to get things set up and how I've got these working, this working uh, and the Rodecaster Pro working. So let's go. Welcome to the best business show in the world. Oh yes, it's me Nigel T. Best and uh, okay I've been having great fun. I've been, you know, this video is going to be a montage of me setting things up unboxing things getting things ready and the whole reason is because um let's have a look it's because of this bad boy down here you know having great fun with this um it's good fun um and i just wanted to show you kind of how a non-techie person can get it going make it work you need a few things there's a few things that you might not know you need that could help you when you're buying it unboxing it setting it up um, but things like these uh, little jacks, uh, headphones, um, bags of bags of things like this that I've covered on other shows where you've got uh, connectors because you, you can't get your pod mic to fit into whatever stand you've got at the moment. All these sort of things, they're coming up. It's loads of things that can help you. So if you're thinking, I'm not an audio person, I'm not a tech person, is this all right for me? Hell's bells, I've managed to do it, so it definitely is for you. But there's just a few things that might make your life a little bit easier, uh, and just to reassure you, and I, I say it in the video, but look, if you don't get on with this piece of kit, it is in big, big demand at the moment. So you could save your packaging, package it back up, and I'm sure you could sell it for probably the same money, if not at the moment, because of the demand for podcasting and video and all the rest of it gear, you might even get a little bit more for it secondhand, crazy as it may seem. So what you're waiting for, give it a go. Have a look at this video. There's loads of links down below explaining uh, what I've got, where I got it from, the links and things like that to make it really easy for your checklist. And um, just give it a go. Don't forget, tickle that notification, ding that dong press that bell, subscribe, and all the rest of it. And I will see you on the uh, next one, but enjoy this one. All right. Hey, everyone. It's me, Nigel T. Best. Welcome to today's episode of The Best Business Show. And today it's kind of part two, but this is on its own because this has arrived in the post. Okay, so... I thought I would do a bit of uh, an unpacking and let's see what's in it from someone who's not really techie, but who hopefully is going to get better results in the sound rather than using the shotgun mic. Hopefully we'll notice a difference. So thank you for being here today, folks. Uh, you've got to do that, you know, tickling of the bell, ping a notification, ding dong, subscribe and all the rest of it. But the other, the previous bit was because I got this the other day. I unboxed the Rode pod mic. And obviously, I'm going to connect it today to the uh, Procaster. Uh, no, Roadcaster Pro. <laughs> there we go. Started well on there. Uh, but that's what I'm going to do. But thanks for being here. I'll put a link into that little bit of video. It's only a few minutes long. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to try and do an overhead as well. But um, it's a bigger box than I expected. So here we go. Welcome to the best business show in the world. Okay, so here's the box, Roadcaster Pro. Um, let's do a bit of sliding out of the uh, internals for it because uh, this looks like it could be good fun. Just break these tabs down the side. One there. There isn't one there. Okay, so let's slide this fella out. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So what did we have on the back? On the back of the pack, just a, a bit of a layout indicating what's there. Various things, so it all looks nice. Feels very good. Isn't it great fun unpacking things, hey? Oh, let's uh, let's just yeah, it's great fun unpacking things, isn't it? Right. Okay, so let's have a look. What do we got? 
Slide it up at the top. Open up the packaging, and there's nothing. Oh no, there she blows. There she blows. So, all right. I'm going to lay this down. I'm trying to ease this beauty out. Here we go. And we've got these enormous cards in there. That's it. Empty box now. Pop that down there, out of the way. And what have we got in here? So we've got some. Um, let's go back to the full overhead screen, hey, shall we? So you can see this. Um, a quick start guide. Connecting microphones, connecting phone cables, connecting Bluetooth, you know, phone by Bluetooth music from your computer. Turn it over. Recording a podcast to a computer. Ah, that's, that's exactly what I want. Or a micro SD card. How to put your headphones in, how to do your speakers. So there's number one on here. I'm sure they could have made these bigger. I mean, he says in, in jest. Okay, um, obviously all the languages. One, two, seven. Power, USB connection, SD, quadrant TRS balance connection to monitor loudspeakers. Um, okay, that bit has, um, uh, you know, when it starts going on about that, quarter inch TRS balance connection. You audio people will be going, Night, nah, you're a fool. But sorry. Um, quarter inch TRS headphone out. Uh, right, I've heard of headphones. Okay, so there's something there. Connect easily to mobile phone via TRRS cable. Oh, hang on. Is that the, the little jack with the two bands or three bands on it? Um, and then you've got four XLRs, which are your big microphone connector cables. I know that. All right, there we go. That's the back panel. Oh, front panel. Let's uh, let me just flip you back over here, folks. So on your front panel, you have got on here. So down here, uh, obviously they're not going to number it in order because that would make sense, wouldn't it? So they're going two, one, seven, four, eleven, ten, eight, nine, twelve, three, six, five, thirteen. Australia obviously has a different numbering scheme to that, but there we go. So this is what we've got: touch screen. Press for instant record, various other buttons, what they do, but you know, I'm, I'm just delaying this, aren't I? Eh? I'm delaying it, I'm delaying it. You want to see the thing? So do I. Uh, get the most from it. Okay, get update the latest firmware, easily load sounds onto the jingle pads. Uh, absolutely right there, mate. Uh, for your old jingles on your old radio station, let's rock. Uh, change the colors of the pad illumination. Uh, that could be quite useful. Organize and transfer your recordings. Great. Okay, so that's that. And then um, let me just click back over because you have a picture of it. Now, I think really, um, I think really what we really want to do is see the thing, isn't it? So here it is. Look at this. Look at this little beauty. All right, let me just... Wiggle that out of the way. I've got a pencil. You should always have a pencil behind your ear when you're doing things, I reckon. Um, and uh, yeah, what have we got here? We've got plastic wraps. Let's just ease these off. They feel very substantial. But I think that's just solid cardboard packaging. Do you know, I, do, I said this on the other one. You know, I think, it, I think it's great how they can do things like that, but... That's not really what you're here for, is it? And then we've got another one there on the other side. Let's put that to one side because underneath we have a further box. And I assume, I assume, but you've got to be careful about assuming things, haven't you? But in here, let's see what's in, in the box. All right. So first of all, ah, okay. So these are going to be sitting over your jingle buttons, aren't they? And you can obviously mark those up with various ones. You've then probably got a pad, this. So these are cardboard that you could probably put alongside it. Okay. 
Now, all you audio people out there began, for God's sake, plug it in, plug it in, we want to hear it, we want to hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All in good time. Uh, so that's empty box on there. So what have we got? We've got a power unit and some cables. Let's have a look. Pop that down there. Oops, bang, crash. Okay, so road power unit with a screw in to hold it tight connector. I assume then we're going to have the other part, which hopefully, yeah, he's geared up for a non-UK style plug. So I'm going to have to get one of my adapters out to do that, um, because that's a, a two pin, and um, we don't use that over here. So good job I've got an adapter. So if you buy him one in the UK, Depending on, I assume they're all, uh, that must be what they use in Australia, or that's just the European model, but that's not a UK plug. Then the other one is the USB connection. Uh, so that is a, I think is that USB-C to the USB thing. And you've got a nice little bit of, oh, a nice little Velcro road embossed, logoed, a little Velcro tie. Just hold things neat, like that. That's good. Okay, so let's move these uh, cards to the side and let's have a look. <laughs> this is what it's all about, isn't it? Oh, great smell. It's not like getting a new carpet or a new car. Move the plastic to one side and then we have a look at this. So. This has got a decent bit of weight on it, you know. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Okay, so here we are. There's just just a quick look around. So the only thing you've got at the front is a single jack port. Nothing down the side. Everything's pretty much down the back there. So you're going to be sticking your four XLRs across here, and then there's a power button at the end. All right, so. We've got a little warning here on some of the dials. These are for your headphones. I think these are the individual headphone thing, and they've got the uh, warning on there that uh, you know if you have it too loud on your headphones, you can damage your hearing. Pardon, I hear you say, yeah, you gotta have, you gotta have your warnings. All right, we've got one of those gorgeous. Oh, I can't take that off just yet. I can't take that off just yet. I do. I do like that sort of thing. Um, yeah, the the feel of it is is kind of slightly rough matte effect on here. Um, but let's have a look. Everything's look at all my someone's put all my sliders up. Beam me up, Scotty. Oh, there you go. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Yeah. And these don't have a great deal of resistance at the moment. They might do when you have power. Or oh, the, the record button definitely has a bit of resistance. But, you know, we've got lots of things. And uh, we could just press all day. But the really interesting thing is when it's plugged in. So I'm going to go find. I'm going to disappear. Pause the recording. Come back with a plug so I can plug it in. All right. Speak in a minute. So after a lot of fannying around, as they say here in Britain, um, I've managed to get power on. So if you are buying it in the UK, you need that adapter, defo. All right, here we go. So, or a different power supply. Um, let's have a look at this. Boom. Let's move that across a bit so we can see it. Hopefully, hopefully, okay, let's move these out of the way. Put those over there. And uh, there we are. So. It looks, it looks pretty cool. We've got, um, oh look, a light comes on. A different light comes on. That's quite good, isn't it? Another light comes on. This is really cool. Um, look, a different one again. And then that one comes on. And, oh, that one does something too. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna plug in a microphone and let's see if it makes a difference to the sound on this baby. Let's uh, let's try it. Okay, so I've got a cable here. 
Oh, satisfying clunk as always, like that. Let's get that in. Now, I'm on number one, and you can do the type of microphone. So let me just move that to there, and let me just bend this arm right down. So hopefully you can see it quite nicely. Okay, so I think first of all we need to get rid of this, don't we? Oh, it didn't come up. <laughs> there we are. That's the bit. That's the baby. Don't know if you can hear that on the recording, but there we go. Let's get rid of that. Pop that down there. Um, so, uh, what am I trying to do here? Uh, number one is um, I have uh, a microphone here. So this would be the, uh, the Rode Pod mic that I was talking about. I haven't yet connected it properly up, but let's have a go at putting it. So I'm assuming you can... Look at that. Boom. Don't know if you can see that in there. But that has just given me the option to do Rode Pod mic. So it's already selected it. I don't know if it knew that already. I guess then you can slide slide this thing up and you can do various bits and you can do that over there and that one 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 and that one. Right, I'm going to have a mess about. But basically, um, I've got it out of the box. So I don't think this is yet doing it because I'm not recording on here because I obviously need, oh, I've got no sound card and it's got nowhere to store it, I guess. So uh, there we go. But I do like the record button and I guess it went blue rather than red because I haven't got any sound card in there. So now I need to, there's another thing I didn't think of is fannying around with sound um, a memory card as well. Uh, but what I might do is use the cable use that and connect that directly up to the computer all right but there we go uh, that's my kind of take on on this little sexy beast and hopefully uh, for the podcast coming up on the best business show you know you can find me on apple podcasts uh, it's out there many of the channels just started relatively new is this particular one you can see probably behind me uh, over there I think, um, let me just go to this camera. Um, so behind me, you've got the How to Raise Money podcast with myself and Ray McLennan. And this one, the best business show with me, Nigel T. Best. And I'd love to see you hear from you on there. Subscribe, write a review, tell me what you do, and I, uh, I'll give you a shout out on the show. How about that? Can't say fairer than that. And there we are. There's the... Um, Let's just have one last look at it. There is the Rode Caster Pro. Yeah, I got it right. All right, that's it. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Click subscribe, tickle the bell for a notification. Um, and if you want to know where I got it from and all the prices, they'll be down below in um, they'll be down there below in the description, and there'll be all the links to it and everything and how you can get this. And also check out the other ones where I talk about. These little gadgets, so these little connectors, you know when things don't connect up, like here, it doesn't connect to, your, to the uh, recording arm and stuff like that, you know, these are really useful little gadgets. So there's another video on that, have, have a look at those. In the meantime, thanks for being here, see you soon, bye for now. Okay, so we've probably got uh, audiophiles, tech people out there who are cringing. You cannot bear to watch something like this where I have, you know, got my hands on one of these and um, I'm just, you know, having a bit of fun, seeing if I can, you know, make myself sound a little bit better. Um, but, you know, who cares? There's nothing I've not seen. It didn't come with a rule book that said you had to be qualified in something to have a go at this. All it said was, give us your money and you can have a go. And the idea, reason why I bought the Roadcaster Pro was because it looked a damn sight simpler than one of those things with about 200 knobs on it and all the rest of it. Um, it it's a bit like a washing machine. 
If you've got a washing machine, it's probably got about 500 programs on it. It can do all sorts of things. However, you probably only ever use 40 degrees and a wool wash for your jumpers. And even then, you'll get them the wrong way around and you'll shrink those jumpers down and that'll be the end of it. So even with two settings, probably a washing machine is dangerous for most of us blokes. But when it comes to things like this, oh, people go to the nth degree. But for me, hey, just get it, have a bit of fun and um, see if it makes a difference. And if it does up here, then it does in here. And that's good enough for me. So if you're wondering whether to get one of these, if you've got the spare money to have a go, why the hell not? Because these things, even if you're no good with them after a month, two months, six months, you could probably sell this on for almost what you paid. They are in big demand. So it's almost like a no risk purchase and you can have a bit of fun along the way. And who's, who's stopping you? You are up here. So if you're thinking about it, do it. And I'm going to mess about and I'm going to show some little clips of me messing about. And for all those people who love their audio tech, you can get behind the sofa right now uh, because it's going to be scary. Which one's scary? Is it? Is it that one? Oh, I don't know if it is. Is that scary? Yay. Or is this, um, do you want a bit of applause? Have fun. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Best Business Show. And on today's episode, I've actually got the Rode Pod mic plugged in, and I've got this little beauty plugged in. Um, things are moving. You know, they're going up and down. I'm not quite sure what's happening, um, but I think this one controls your master level. So if I think if that goes, I go, but I don't know. I'm on uh, this number number one here so i think that should be working uh, and having me in here which is good i think if i press these i can't hear it i'm gonna see that on the recording anyway i'm just messing about because uh, what do we do um, the instructions do it we just give it a go and we see what it sounds like. Um, see what happens, twiddling, tweaking, pressing, all the rest of it. But I'm a bit more. It's in the moment. Okay, so I'm now looking at uh, this bit here. So at, at the moment, I'll take that off for a second, take it off. Uh, hopefully we're recording all right and, and you can see it. But what I am um, doing up here is just looking at what we've got. And if I zoom down i'm um, trying to not get the glare but can you see there intro outro uh laughter applause sad trombone rim shot oh dear me that, that doesn't sound right you can't put that on can you scary harp and cricket so if i did applause i don't know if this makes it louder or not because i need some headphones in because and this is all guesswork at the moment. Um, and then scary. Oh, I don't know how long that one lasts. So we'll turn that off. And then laughter. <laughs> oh, he's a funny guy. Is that Nige Best? Um, there we go. So let's have a mess about and do some more. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm back. And there's something else that I noticed with the Rodecaster Pro that you need is if you're going to use headphones and you want to use, say, your... Uh, iPhone headphones or your Samsung headphones or whatever that come with your phone, you're going to need one of these. So uh, another thing that I think people need to do. So let me just um, try and show you on here is one of these. So you're going to need your uh, jack adapter. Why? Well, let's just get some, get one out. It's a, a fatter one that. If I can just ease this up, you can see it's going to fit into the headphone socket. All right. So without without your uh, adapter jack, um, your headphones, especially if you're using just your telephone, um, they're, they're not going to work. So look, all it is, you're going to take your normal 
whatever that is, three mil or something, three and a half mil, click it into the back, and then that is going to fit into the back of your Rodecaster Pro. He says, hoping to goodness that that is actually the case. So let's give it a try. I'll put it into number one because that's the channel I'm on. These are just some old headphones I found knocking around. So I just want to see if it actually does work. See if I can hear myself in here. Uh, number one. Um, I don't know if I can. What am I doing? Um, can I hear myself in here? No, because um, I forgot to tell you, folks, uh, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Um, so there we go. Can I hear anything? No, I don't know if I should be pressing something or not. That mutes me, doesn't it? I don't want to do that. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. Weird thing. Weird thing. And I've now got... Uh, right, okay. Let's try again. Okay, so uh, we've got the wires in here. So we've got a straight line, what looks like a 3.5 mil jack to a 3.5 mil jack right there. Um, let me put those others down uh, with a uh, little microphone effort on there. So that looks quite good. Just a straight wire on there. Just put that to one side. Then we've got this uh, color coordinated type brown one with the stretchy cord. And um, yeah, a, a small jack to, oops, clonk to the bigger jack, which is kind of the one that I want in the back of the roadcaster pro and let's just have a quick look at open up my wash bag let's see what they are oh look at that hey these kind of retro silver and a brown chocolate brown uh, headphones here so with just a little slide out mechanism to fit my my big head <laughs> um rotating um ear sections there you can see on the on the join and let's just try them on roger roger let's just wing commander best tally ho chaps <laughs> there we go i feel like i've gone back in time wearing these uh hopefully they're all right and they don't look too bad right i'm going to try and connect it up so i'm going to pause and see if i can get these suckers to work all right okay so i have uh now got these plugged in and uh, I'm just adjusting my headphone um, volume on here which is pretty cool um, and that looks good but never mind looking good it sounds it sounds good right let's try these uh, jingles here so here we go what we got oh hang on hang on I need to look I haven't pressed that I need that on, then I can hear this. Oh, that's crickets. <laughs> Great. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, what about this? Oh, yeah. So I, I said, um, what do you call a mad crow? A raven lunatic. Thank you. What a bit of applause. Yes, because I finally sussed this bit out and I'm, I'm getting it to work so that's pretty cool isn't it um this is i think the intro and obviously then it still goes on but you can talk over the top of it whilst it goes in the background and then in true dj style you pause and then you talk back over it and then you talk again <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm here all week. Ooh, not so keen on that one. No. Although that I can feel myself playing that quite a bit. Spooky. Oh, and now let's enter the dream sequence. Um, it's, it's great. I absolutely love this. So if I turn off uh, the ear button... Um, let me just let me just show that so um over here on mine um yeah then i can't hear myself in my headphones that's cool 
and now I can. And I obviously can control the uh, the volume on these things, uh, which is really good. And I can hear it in there. Um, this is great fun. Just messing about. Uh, I like my headphones seem really good. Uh, this cable's pretty good. And uh, with this stretchy bit, uh, you know, I feel that if I sort of disappeared off a bit, it's just got a bit of give before it yanks those jacks out and, and spoils the, the little ports that you plug things into. But there we go. So um, if you've got, so say this these headphones only came with this type of double jack connector, you're going to need one of these. Um, so I, uh, there'll be a link down below uh, where I will put in, you know, what, what I got and uh, the headphones. I'm really pleased with them. Hey, look, they, they work. Uh, you know, I don't look too big a, a, a spoon. Yeah. Um, and uh, and I, I think they're a pretty good price. So I'll put a, a link into that as well. So you can click on that and see where I get things from. Uh, but hey, cool. I'm up and running. Roadcaster Pro. Nailed. All right, now there's a, a feature on the Roadcaster Pro, which is you can connect in your phone. So I just, uh, I didn't mean to do this as a demo, but um, uh, my mum phoned up and I said, right, look, I'm going to plug it in. So you plug it in the back and then uh, give it a go. So here's just a bit of audio from that. It's, it's pretty cool. I actually didn't have the volume on the phone very loud. So although I had the, the slider all the way up, um, the volume was a little bit quiet, but I, I adjusted it and it worked even better. Um, so have a listen to the audio, see what you think. But it's pretty cool. How cool is it? You have the conversation, you talk through your mic, you listen to the answers on here, but theirs goes into the Rodecaster Pro and records it. It's cool. Check it out. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. right. I, I'm, I'm recording, so uh, hopefully. So if you talk now... Um, and yeah, I just yeah. want to see if um, if you come out on this recording in a good way. Okay. Well, I'm looking now because yesterday the chap that sold us a bench for the garden came back with some uh, wooden planters and um, we sort of said, no, we didn't want them. Okay. And bit by bit he brought the price down and down till it was too good an offer to say no. So we've got three wooden planters, which oh. will look wonderful on our new decking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are so, you enjoying? Are you enjoying that decking? Is it good? Well, uh, um, we've had one two days when it was lovely there, and then after that we've had this wind again. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, at the moment yeah. it needs sweeping. It's full of full of bits of twigs and stuff from the trees. Right. So it looks okay. rather a mess. Yeah. But um, it does look fantastic. Right. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. So you're pleased with it? Yes, delighted. So how cool was that? <laughs> that was my mum who tested out the phone feature. As I say, I didn't adjust the volume on the actual phone very well. But if you do that, then the slider doesn't have to be all the way kind of up at the top. So I did it a bit afterwards, and about here was getting the peak level right up. So this green flashy bar thing. Uh, was doing well. Um, all you techies out there, all you audio people out there, are you loving this? You won't still be here on this video, but hey, look, I'm a man in the street. I, I don't talk your tech audio speak, so I just say this slidey thing, that flashy bar thing, take it or leave it. But I've had great fun setting this uh, gear up. It's been really cool. Uh, I'm loving the effects uh, that we've got on here and I'm loving the fact that your phone can do it because I'm going to be doing uh, podcast interviews and because the phone works really well this is good you don't need that broadband uh, speed because I haven't got it and I'm thinking that the audio is going to be really good on that but there you go I've gone through all sorts there's loads of stuff in here don't forget um, dingle that dong tickle that notification subscribe write something let me know and uh, I'll see you again. Thank you so much for your time and attention. I really appreciate it. My name's Nigel T. Best. This is the Best Business Show. And see you later. <laughs>